Let's talk about Sheikh Jarrah and how Israel is currently allowing Jewish Israeli settlers to steal Palestinian homes in Sheikh Jarrah and how America is helping. Here are the five facts that we should all know. Fact one, the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. There's a Palestinian neighborhood in occupied East Jerusalem named Sheikh Jarrah. What does occupied East Jerusalem mean, you may ask? Under international law, East Jerusalem legally belongs to the Palestinian territories, but Israel doesn't care and has been illegally occupying it for decades now. They have full control over the land and nobody has done anything about it. And that's why we call it occupied East Jerusalem. So that's fact one. The neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah is legally supposed to be considered Palestinian land. Fact number two, the illegal Israeli settlements. There are government backed Israeli settlement organizations that are and have been stealing Palestinian homes in Sheikh Jarrah. These Palestinians have been living there for decades. So how are these common Israeli Israeli citizens able to kick out entire neighborhoods of Palestinians? Well, friend, that's because Israeli soldiers help protect these Israeli settlers while they're stealing the house. Uh, let me help simplify this. Palestinians in a Palestinian home on Palestinian land. Israeli settlers enter land and never leave. If Palestinians don't leave or fight back, Israeli soldiers will escort them off their own land with guns. Little fun fact, uh, some of these Israeli settler organizations are actually headquartered in the US. So fact number three, appeals and the Israeli Supreme Court. As a result of claims by Israeli settler organizations, the Israeli courts have ruled that six Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah have to leave their homes this May and seven have to leave their homes in August. The Palestinians in Sheikh Jarrah have tried to follow the legal rules and fight to keep their homes. They've submitted appeals to the Supreme Court of Israel against the forced evictions, but just going off their track record, they're probably going to reject the appeal and allow the Israeli settlers to steal the Palestinian homes. Why the skepticism? Because Israeli settlers have already stolen Palestinian homes in Sheikh Jarrah. In 2009 alone, 67 Palestinians were kicked out of their homes in Sheikh Jarrah. Since then, the Israeli organization that falsely claims ownership of Sheikh Jarrah has stated their intention to evict the entire neighborhood of Palestinians. What in the ethnic cleansing? They have zero regard for the historic presence of Palestinians that have been living there. The courts consistently prove their intention to uphold Israeli supremacy and suffocate Palestinian rights. They don't question the claims of the settlers and they always automatically reject the claims of Palestinians. Fact number four, the current state of Sheikh Jarrah. Remember I said six Palestinian families are being forced to leave their homes in May? Well, uh, it's May. So hundreds of Palestinians are peacefully protesting in the streets of Sheikh Jarrah, trying to protect those six families who are about to be evicted from their homes. They're nonviolent protests. They're just chanting, breaking fast together because it's Ramadan, praying together. But as I said before, a number of Palestinian homes in the neighborhood were already taken over by Israeli settlers. And obviously these Israeli settlers are not happy that there are hundreds of Palestinians on the streets protesting. So who comes to save the day as they always do? The Israeli police, they come in full gear, strapped with guns, spraying the Palestinians with skunk water, which is a chemically enhanced type of sewage water. They're instigating fights, they're arresting the protesters, they're breaking into Palestinian homes, trying to find people. Despite the fact that just yesterday, while the Palestinians were peacefully breaking their fast in the streets, Israeli settlers started throwing things at them. And so who does Israeli police arrest? The Palestinians, of course, because the Palestinians started fighting back. And as we all know, Palestinians aren't allowed to fight any Israeli power on that land, even if they're just acting in defense. Palestinians are not allowed to fight back. They have zero rights. Finally, fact number five, the USA. What does the US have anything to do with this? Well, we're paying for it. The US gives Israel $3.8 billion in aid every year, y'all. And that money is helping Israel suppress the Palestinian people. Palestinians have little to no rights according to the Israeli judicial system that was built to suppress Palestinian rights and push Israeli rights forward. Uh, systemic racism, settler colonialism, ethnic cleansing, apartheid, theft and occupation of Palestinian land, murder of Palestinians, which I haven't even gone into. A 16 year old Palestinian in South Nablus was shot dead this week by Israeli forces, so. Yeah, all that funded by the US of A. 
So yeah, those are just the main points of the matter for now. Um, six Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah are about to get kicked out of their homes by Israeli settlers who are backed by Israeli police. Keep in mind, if the Israelis kick these Palestinians out of their homes, they're not getting some all-inclusive relocation package with compensation and a pamphlet of top 10 must-see sites and restaurants in your new neighborhood. No, they're going to be homeless. They will be forced to take all their belongings out of their homes and find a new place to live or be threatened by Israeli settlers and the Israeli police. That's what Palestinians have been forced to do since 1948 when the state of Israel was established and hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were kicked out of their own homes. Nothing has changed. This is nothing new. So please help spread the word even beyond the Arab and the Muslim community. People need to know what Israel is doing and I'm fairly confident that most people would not be okay with what they're doing right now. So it's a matter of us educating them. For resources and how to help, I'll have information saved in my highlights under Sheikh Jarrah. It has petitions for you to sign, posts you can reshare, accounts for you to follow, or footage of what's happening right now. Be sure to follow Muhammad al-Kurd and Muna al-Kurd. They're Palestinians in Sheikh Jarrah. Their family is one of the six that's at risk of being evicted this May. Israeli settlers already stole half of their home a while back, and they're posting live content to show what's happening right now and show how they're essentially trying to take the rest of their home. So please share as much as you can and keep the Palestinian people in your prayers. Assalamu alaikum.